The building blocks for proper water chemistry are a pH level of 7 to 7.2. Use 7.0 as your target. Sanitizers are much more effective at pH neutral. Calcium hardness of 300 to 400 parts per million. This level increases the conductivity in the water for proper oxygen creation in the chamber. Copper levels of 0.3 to 0.5. Phosphates should be at zero. When gathering a water sample for testing, find an area in the pool away from a jet or a skimmer, but not in a dead spot. Rinse the sampler tube first. The sample should be taken at a depth of one and a half to two feet deep, or elbow deep as a reference. I prefer to start by testing the copper levels. Fill the sample tube to the 10 milliliter line, add five drops of copper A, invert to mix, then five drops of copper B and mix. Wait three minutes. After three minutes, compare the blue color in the tube to the color chart. Find the color on the chart that matches the sample. Two very important notes. Always hold the reagent bottle straight up and down. This gives you the same size drop every time. Also, look down through the test tube to compare the blue colors, not from the side. When testing pH, potential hydrogen, always use a droplet test kit with a fennel red reagent. Never use strips. If using the pH comparator that we provide, fill the sample tube to the top line, 44 milliliters. Rinse and retrieve a sample at elbow depth. Add five drops of fennel red. Keep the reagent bottle vertical when adding the drops. Cap the sample and mix. Now compare the color to the sample of the comparator. This will give you your result. Using white background will improve accuracy. There are several ways to test calcium hardness. We use the Taylor K2005 test kit. Fill large tube to 25 milliliter mark. Add 20 drops of the R0010 calcium buffer, then swirl to mix. Add five drops of R0011L. This is the calcium indicator liquid dark blue in color, swirl to mix. If calcium is present, the sample will turn red. Add R-0012 hardness reagent. Count each drop and swirl after adding. When the color changes to blue, multiply the amount of drops added by 10. This will give you your calcium hardness result. Please note, if your copper result was more than 0.5, the color may change to purple or not change at all if the copper result is extremely high. There are several ways to test phosphates. We recommend taking a water sample to a pool store. If the result is less than 100, do not be concerned. If the test result is more than 100, a phosphate remover should be added. We recommend using the Natural Chemistry brand of products. Total alkalinity levels in a zero chlor pool are not as critical to maintain. The system changes the chemical makeup of the calcium in the water to bicarbonate. Test copper and pH every week, calcium hardness every month, or when the blue number falls below 1.5. Test phosphates every three months. Test more if you have a persistent algae issue.